Every month at the new moon, we begin a new emotional cycle, and we have the opportunity to reset our goals and intentions. The new moon in Capricorn is January 9th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Capricorn is an Earth sign in the cardinal modality, so we're dealing with very practical energy that wants to move things forward. There is a restlessness about the cardinal energy, and that's particularly true with Capricorn. Capricorn wants to get things done on the physical plane, wants to make things happen. Now there are so many important layers to this new moon. Honestly, in a way, I don't know where to begin, but let me go with the obvious statement, which is the fact that Pluto is gonna be conjunct the sun and the moon during this particular lunation. Now that makes sort of a Scorpio statement in a way, because Pluto rules Scorpio. What it adds is a special layer of intensity and the theme is empowerment. Now, in addition to Pluto being conjunct the sun and moon, we also have Mercury in Capricorn and Mercury is retrograde. It's gonna stay retrograde until the 25th of the month. As a matter of fact, it's important to know that Mercury will come back to the exact same position it was in for this new moon on around February 12th, the mid-February time frame, and Venus will be there too. So the seeds that you plant in this new moon have a period of development, and in the middle part of February, you'll see those move forward. That Plutonian energy, that statement from Pluto conjunct the sun and moon is so very important to understand. Have you noticed that in the last two or three weeks, maybe even a month, that you've been sort of pushed by the universe to face fears, limitations. You know, the Pluto, here, here's how Pluto acts. Pluto will take you by the hand, sort of by the elbow, and walk with you and guide you to a special closet. And Pluto will say, you see that closet? And you'll go, yeah, I see it. And Pluto says, listen. And inside the closet, you'll hear rustling and bumping and all these noises and you go, well, what's that? And Pluto says, well, that's where you store your fears and your limitations. You know, all those things that you really want to sweep under the rug or you want to hide away because you don't want to deal with them. Pluto opens the door to that closet and says, time to face the fears, shoves you in, closes the door, and then you have no choice. You have to face the fears, you have to face the limitations that you've tucked away somewhere and you haven't wanted to focus on. That's what's going on with this new moon. That's what's been going on for the last month. Now, this new moon on the 9th asks us to really go to the next level in making positive changes, but also to embrace and empower ourselves that those fears really have no power over us. I remember when I was little, if you're around my age, you can relate to this. When you got strep throat, at, when I was young, you had to go to the doctor, they'd do a strep test, and it would take two days for them to develop the strep test. And you would wait by the phone, anxiously waiting for the call from the doctor to find out if you had to go get one of those big, nasty penicillin shots, because they hurt. And later they developed bicillin and tricillin, and they hurt. And I remember spending those two days in fear and dread and waiting and waiting. And then if I had to go get a shot, it would be over in five minutes and it wasn't a big deal. But those two or three days waiting for it were agony. Well, that's what Pluto was trying to help us to understand is that worrying about the fears, fussing about them is a pain. But facing them, taking action, doing something about it you know, it's really no big deal in the end. And that's what's happening with this new moon on a cosmic level, on a spiritual level, and on a personal level. Now this is also echoed by the fact that in this new moon we have Saturn conjunct Venus. And Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. And what that's saying is it is time to be very realistic and practical and move things forward and release idealism just a bit so that you ask yourself really to look at life from that realistic point of view and to move forward accordingly. And when you look at it realistically, you tend to find that acceptance comes in to the picture. You're not judging yourself, you're not judging others, you're not wishing for somebody to be in a place where they are not. 
And that's what this new moon is about also. The last thing about this new moon, and I think this is the most important part, is that in a way, what we're asked to do is to become a wizard incognito. That's one of my favorite statements. Think about being a wizard incognito. Think about that. You know, that's like having special abilities, whether that's psychic ability, whether who knows what else it could be. But it's to walk around embracing that within, but not showing it off and not needing anybody else to recognize it in order for you to recognize it. The wizard incognito part right now means you empower yourself and then you fill your energy field with all of that empowerment and you recognize it. You are not dependent on the world for approval. You are not dependent on feeling empowered only if it's been reflected to you back by the world. You own it. That's part of what this new moon is about. So many layers, so phenomenally powerful. Please jump in with both feet, become the wizard incognito, face your fears, and know that you can do it. There is a huge change taking place right now, and all you need to do is cooperate with it. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.